first contact with a coin? You mean the one I swallowed when I was five? <laughs> I like coins because I can spend them, you know? I can spend coins. I like to spend them. Can this really be so old? Can this really be a work of art from the ancient Roman times? And I was hooked on the romance of it. It's a monument in the hand. Very strong one. Went out and bought a book, brought it to my father's bakery, and told my aunt, don't give out any more buffalo nickels in change until I check them against this book. And that's how I started out as a coin collector. Coins definitely remind me of my dad, of my grandpa, they remind me of really my heritage. It was a Roman denarius, and it had once been owned by John Quincy Adams. And I thought, wait a minute, I can own something that the sixth president of the United States once owned? And that was, I think, my gateway coin. I'm always more of a time traveler. When I, when I see coins, that's the kind of things I think about. The fascination is that it's rather immediate. It means that when you are um, dealing with archaeology, you have to reconstruct what is no more. You have to reconstruct buildings, uh, palaces, and so on. With a coin, it's exactly the opposite. You have a coin in your hand, and the coin is exactly uh, as it was in other hands. It provides a direct connection to the people of antiquity and allows me to feel what they feel. You can actually use that quantitative source, those huge numbers of coins, in order to tell important stories about the economy, about the movement of people, about mining, about mint production or trade. There's no other object that humans have created that combined political aspects, social aspects, economic aspects, as well as artistic aspects. That's like, I guess, the most beautiful thing. It's just like, you're holding a piece of artwork. When I hold a coin in my hand, or when I put a coin in the hands of my students, it is physical, tangible proof of antiquity. And it bridges a gap psychologically. It makes the work of being a historian more meaningful. Um, I feel connected. I feel connected to uh, both these objects and their history, but to a network of people who care about the same thing. The ANS is a place that when I walk in, I'm always happy. The ANS combines all of that, being both a museum and a library. And of course, it's wonderful that as a research organization, they allow people to come in and actually look at and handle objects, which of course you can't normally do in a museum. But I come in here and there is this, this atmosphere of learning, there is this atmosphere of seeking some kind of um, answers or, or, or knowledge. Well, it's really not the coins, it's the people. I was expecting to feel out of place, but honestly, it's one of the few places that I really, really feel at home at. I feel like everyone's just, I mean, because I'm, I'm the youngest person here. The curatorial staff are um, world-class experts in their fields, but they are also uniformly friendly, Funny, some of them, especially David Hendon, and, uh, and charming. It's always a pleasure to go there and uh, be associated with them. The ANS is a place where I just like to hang out. It's, it's like a family to me, personally. A place to meet, to meet scholars and to meet other collectors. Uh, developed a lifelong relationship, which I enjoy to this day. It is a professional organization with wonderful individuals who are always helpful, always available, uh, whether it be in publications, the library, or in the curators themselves. The, the people, uh, the community, the conversations, things happen here that don't, don't happen anywhere else. The ANS really represents the academic center of uh, numismatic excellence within the United States. So if you have a, a historical bent or archaeology or other disciplines, this is the place to be. The ANS has a crucial potential position between academia and uh, the public and museums. It is the wide knowledge of the members of ANS uh, that 
is, is unparalleled uh, within the United States and around the world. In 163 years, this organization has recreated itself again and again, almost every single generation. What is very important to me is thinking of myself in this long line of librarians that have been here for 150, 160 years now. And every one of them taking care of this collection that I'm now a steward of. Just as people before me have supported the ANS, I want to support it for future generations. We work together in community to prepare the past and understand the past and share that past with future generations. Now that the ANS makes this incredible transformation into the digital 21st century, um, I do hope that they will continue to be able to maintain this collegial warmth that was so welcome to me. I, I think with David Hendon and the present people there, they will.